What's going on, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake, giving you another episode of What's New with Tackle Warehouse. This week, we got a bunch of new stuff in. We got some stuff from Japan, some stuff that came out this year at the, at the iCast release. So let's jump right into what we got here. So from Yum, we got the new Spine Craw. It's a super cool craw design with these large claws on here. They have a really fast kicking action. So these are made to produce a really aggressive action. And what they've done is they've added these spines along the body here. So these little spines are cupped, so when you're moving this through the water, it's gonna push a lot of water and just create a really strong vibration. So great craw to add to the arsenal. You can fish it on a Texas rig, back of a you know swim jig, anything you want, flipping jig. Just a great craw to have in the arsenal. Just like all the, the yum baits, got great scent on them, bunch of cool colors, and they come at a great price as well. All right, so new jig, one that I'm super stoked about, a really unique jig from Beast Coast. This is their new Hustler Hybrid Finesse Jig. And as you can see, it is a totally unique jig. Each of these jigs has three different materials in it. So they're hand tied with silicone skirting, some, uh, some flash material, and a genuine 100% marabou in there. So super unique, you know, finesse type swim jig. They got a really cool head shape on them. They got a wide flat bottom and this horizontal line tie. So these come up and over cover really well. Got a really sharp hook on them and kind of a medium fiber weed guard to get you over cover. Um, bunch of great colors. They got shad colors. They got super cool bluegill colors. Just what well, I just like this jig because it's you know a, it's a lot different than all the other jigs out there on the market with that marabou, you know, hand tied skirt on there. It's got dual keeper trailer system on there, so you can put any type of you know your favorite you know small chunks or um, you know small finesse style swim baits and just all the colors that they put on these Beast Coast jigs are awesome. If you're looking for a new finesse jig, you know, something the fish have really never seen before. It's gonna help get a lot more bites. Check out these new Hustler jigs from Beast Coast. All right, next up, we got some new line from Tough Line. So the first one is their new XS fluorocarbon. So the XS is gonna stand for extra sensitive. This is premium fluorocarbon they've come out with. So with the XS version, you're gonna get a lot better castability. It's just gonna, it's gonna fly off the spool really smoothly and you're gonna get a lot better sensitivity. They got it in the bulk spools as well as they got it in small leader spools. So if you want to full, you know, do a full spool or you just want to run braid to a leader or something like that, they got you covered on both ends. Just awesome fluorocarbon by Tough Line. The next one they got is their XD version. So the XD version starts at 20. So we have it in 20 to 50 pound. And I believe we have it in the, the 25 yard spools and 50 or 100 yard spools. So a little bit smaller size spools, basically for doing leaders or you know, doing like a short amount of line for flipping. Since it is, you know, the XD stands for the extra durable. So it's made for, you know, heavy duty applications, flipping into heavy cover, fishing over super jagged rocks and catching big fish, you know, with that 20 to 50 pound line. This stuff is super tough and it's got a unique fluorocarbon resin formula. It's super dense and actually sinks a lot faster than normal fluorocarbon does as well. So, cause it is a denser, heavier line. Uh, just a super cool option, if, especially if you're looking for some some bigger, heavier line in that 20 to 50 pound range. Check out the new XD from Tough Line. All right, new jig head from Blade Runner. So Blade Runner came out with a new swim bait head. We all know Blade Runner makes some great baits. Um, specifically, they, you know, a lot of people know them for that underspin head. I've been using that thing personally for you know, five, six years, I think, and it's a phenomenal underspin head. And what I like about their new swim bait head is it has actually a thin, flat shad profile. It's not a wide blocky style head or a round head. It, it actually has that nice shad profile. And there's you know a lot of swim baits that also have that profile. It's gonna match up really well on there. Um, has a razor sharp hook, you know, nice heavy lead keeper on there, hold your baits on there really well. But just, you know, again, all the details on this on this swim bait head with the gills and the 3D eyes, gonna be an awesome swim bait head for uh, mating up with a lot of different styles of swim baits. Check that out from Blade Runner. All right, so from Japan, we got a couple new terminal pieces. This first one is their new lure lock. It's called the multi-lock, I think. Um, we have a whole video from Minenori from J Japan. He's the Japan tackle importer that we have for Tackle Warehouse. He imports stuff from a bunch of different brands. And he we have a full iCast interview with him explaining all the different things you can do with these locks. So, you know, it looks just like a normal peg. So you can use this as a peg, just like you would on a Texas rig but these are really built for a bunch of different finesse techniques that are really hot in Japan right now. So the zero dan, leaderless drop shot rig, um, free rigs, and you can even do it with, turn a, turn a bait into a Carolina rig with this. So you put two of them down on your line 
and you can use a um, like a drop shot weight that has a looped has a looped eyelet, not a pinch style eyelet. And you can do all these cool different little finesse techniques with that leaderless drop shot, or you can you know slide the two pegs up, and you can have uh, kind of this free rig type of deal, and you can slide it over the pegs and do a um, do that Carolina rig. Just a bunch of cool things that you can do with these pegs. It's you know finesse techniques that are become really popular in Japan that. You know, you might want to use out here in the U.S. when things are getting really pressured right now. A lot more people are fishing right now, and now's the time to maybe try something different and, you know, try a new finesse technique. Another new finesse technique that's really hot in Japan right now is the hover strolling technique. And this is a new hook, that, the hover strolling hook, that is specifically made for that technique. And this is an ultra finesse technique that Minori talks about. And they're using three to four pound test with this. And this hook, as you can see, it's kind of shaped like a, you know, like you would, like a jig mold hook, but without, you know, obviously it doesn't have any lead or anything on it. And this is made to be inserted into a small, soft plastic minnow style bait. And then it gets balanced with a small nail weight. And you're basically creating an almost suspending soft plastic bait that you would use it for almost vertical jigging techniques or casting to targets and just having that bait, you know, right there suspending in the water column. Like I said, this is made for ultra finesse technique. We only have them in a size two. This is the bigger one, size two and size three. So they're made for really small baits. And like I said, you know, three, four pound test, ultra finesse baits. But you know, if you're into trying new stuff, you know, super finesse, especially in the winter time when a lot of people do that vertical jigging, Demiki rigging style, fishing with the, the tiny flukes and the little ball heads or, you know, stuff like that. This might be something that you can replace that with and just get even more finesse with it. So check out the new finesse stuff we got from Decoy. All right, next up, got some new sun gear. It's hot right now. You know, July, August, September, sometimes some of the hottest, most brutal months to be out on the water. We got a bunch of new stuff from Gill. It's gonna help you keep protected out there in this, those sunny conditions. So we got their new UV Tech gloves and their new UV Tech hoodie. Both of them, you know, four-way stretch fabric, UPF 50 protection, moisture wicking, keep you dry, keep you comfortable, keep you protected from the sun. Personally, I like the hoodies. I've switched over to all the, the hoodie style sun shirts. Just, you know, don't have to, I don't have, like to wear the gaiters and it just keeps your neck and your face protected without the uncomfortable gaiter on. And next up, we also have their expedition shorts. These are awesome shorts. Same thing, four-way stretch material. So they're extremely comfortable, you know, moisture wicking, got a bunch of pockets, pliers pockets, you know, extra cargo pocket, just great shorts to, you know, complete system, UPF 50 protection, moisture wicking, gonna keep you protected and just help you feeling more comfortable out there on those super hot days on the water. So check out all that new stuff we got from Gill. Last up, definitely not least. So we got this new rod from Mega Bass. This is the new Destroyer P5. This is the new, the G, these are the JDM models of destroyers that are, that are out in Japan. And what's cool about these rods, if you know anything about the Destroyer series, these are the flagship rods that Mega Bass makes. I mean, they are as high end as you can get. Um, there's, there's so much technology packed into these rods. You definitely need to go check out the website and read the full description on them. And there's like a two page description on everything that goes into these rods. You know, we could do a whole show on these things. Uh, one of the most important things is their new 5D blank construction. So it's a completely new proprietary process of how they layer and place the, the graphite material before they roll the blank. And you're just, you're, they're just increasing um, the sensitivity, you know, decreasing weight to make it even more lightweight, more balanced. Um, they all come with Fuji titanium guide frames with SIC inserts, so extremely lightweight guide system, extremely sensitive. You go down here to the handle. I grabbed this one, the seven foot, I believe it's the Mad Bull, because it comes with a carbon fiber handle. All, all the rods don't come with the same handle type. So some of them come with a cork, some of them come with a carbon fiber handle. And you can see that on the website when you check handle type, it'll, it'll show you an image of actually what comes on each rod. Um, this carbon fiber handle is molded to your hand, so it fits extremely well. You have great blank contact on the back here. And then up on the front, we have a new machined aluminum uh, reel seat nut. So just super cool, lightweight, you know, uh, keeps everything really well balanced. And if you never checked out a destroyer rod or you're interested in them, these are about as high end, nicest rods you're ever going to get. Extremely well balanced, super sensitive, you pretty much can't get anything better than these destroyers. Um, like I said, go on the website, check out all the full description, and then each rod has its own full description when you click the show information links on our website. So it gives you exactly what each rod is made for because they're all 
technique specific and built for you know specific purposes. So check these all out by Mega Bass. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New Attack Warehouse. For more information or to purchase a product seen here today, make sure to click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.